Hello, everyone, and welcome to Larissa's wedding. That's all I say throughout the whole speech. It was shortly after someone started following someone on the social scene that Larissa and Pete started crossing paths on the odd night out. Pete was chatting about nothing in particular with his mates at the Boxing Day races as they were wrapping up. He lost all interest when he caught sight of a stunning blonde in a bright red dress sprinting his way. Where we going later, he said with a half grin. Smiling back, she said, King Street. There they were in the classiest, most romantic section of the earth, the top level of King Street. Two single people in the wild. Espresso martinis in hand, giggling through a conversation that neither of them would ever remember. That is where they shared their very first pash. So when I picked up Pete and his mate, he was being constantly yelled at and heckled to get in the bloody car. But he was adamant. He wasn't getting in the car. He was waiting with this girl that he just met. Her brother was coming to pick her up and he was going to be waiting by her side until the brother got there. So I saw her in a state talking about this boy. He's like, oh no, I really, really like him. I think he's really sweet. And I'm like, Larissa, we're in the McDonald's drive-thru. What do you want? Please! And turns out that boy that she was just gushing over, just out of her mind, is the man that she's marrying today, which is very, very sweet. Now I knew that Pete was the one for us early on. Other than his incredibly motivating and inspiring tattoos. He was also Riss's type to a T. So he was a long-haired Yahoo who loved to surf and worked as a tradie. So in Riss's eyes, he was the chicken to her crimpy. <laughs> One interest that Pete has kept from his childhood is that of bike riding. It was a very social event that involved half the neighbourhood. Head of the gang was Pete's best mate, Joel. Whatever Joel did, Pete and many of the other boys did as well. Hence, if Joel decided to buy a four-wheel drive, Pete followed. After a few months, Joel got sick of this and ended up bought a van. But Pete do go out and buy a van. I think Pete went through about six vehicles in a couple of years and lost money on each changeover. Both Robin and myself are proud of the person Pete has become. I'm so happy you've found someone as beautiful as Larissa to now proudly call your new wife. Riz is kind-hearted, she's unapologetically herself, and of course she's also quite fiery. The latter could of course be brought back and reworded to having a very strong passion and protectiveness over the ones that she loves most. Most importantly though, she's been thriving in life lately and she's loving every minute as dog mum to the two of Nui's coolest dudes ever and also obviously now wife to Petey as well. Larissa, you look gorgeous in that wedding dress tonight. We're proud of you. Mum and Dad love you. Always have. Always will. Pete, you are a swell guy. Thank you for dropping in on Larissa. May your married life be full of sunny days. Pete, you have shown Riz so much love and kindness throughout your relationship. Your shared love of Nui Burger Co, a good schnitty, and spending an excessive amount of time listening to Dirty Dirty Bangers with your besties has simply cemented the fact that you two truly are a perfect match. And you've both grown so much together since that first kiss at Kingers. Obviously not height-wise, because you're both still very short human beings. Take me back to that first day we met, and you're in that stunning red dress. I remember thinking to myself, damn, that chick's a sort. <laughs> Shortly after a quick chat, I knew there was something special between us. I want to grow old with you by my side, although I keep buying bikes to keep me young. And at the end of the day, look back with no regrets. We've both built our careers, become fur parents, we've built our first home and now have our little home on wheels. I wouldn't trade our life for anything. 
I promise to love you the same way I fell in love with you that Boxing Day, every day for the rest of our lives. Even though it seems like we've done it all, it's really just the beginning. Cheers to the future, cheers to us and cheers to love. Cheers to a new hobby or a car every second month. <laughs> Utni Petushka. my whole life and my soulmate. Today has been a dream. I can't wait for the rest of our lives together. May you always be together, living free and fearing nothing.